Pass your TEDSEC initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? The problem is why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's... Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their problem? Ooh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God. that already? Yeah, I never listen. raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. Huh. You catch that? Ah. Hang on. Ah. TOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system... Always in the system. Oh, 
Holy shit. <laughs> he went for it. He won't have much time before the backups kick in. Going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile. Drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Solid bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. What was that? 
Where the fuck am I gonna go? Josh, okay? okay. Fuck you, Bloom! In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move, building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, your hot sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Hmm? It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No, sledgehammers on fire. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, f fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. What? He installed a back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo.
Hey, man. Do you got the time? Oh, yeah, man. I got it. I got it. Uh, late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking <laughs> this mother... Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time.
All right, Sitar. So where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door.
Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to... Bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. right. Don't worry. That was only fun. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out! Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Behold, our very own open-source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we... Okay. Why... What? If... of technology. A 3D printer. This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of little weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow up. Good to have another. Yeah, and good. What attack? Yeah, yeah. Oh. There's a. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. Nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom.
The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DeadSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Keep the merch up! Don't let them steal our boys. Fuck you, Tate. Fuck you, Eagle. You can't let them do this. Hey, so you know, will you what do the time? I'm not going I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never hey, go for it. The, the real one won't. You know me. So we're gonna more do it for him. I'm gonna fun. visit Bobo and see if I can <laughs> I borrow sure some of his new posted. tracks as proof You're that we're legit. List. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Who I love this.
I hope this never ends. you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. Right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not looking for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster, man. Cyber Driver. Hit him with the code for a chip. Jimmy Siska is. Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me or die. Devin Von Devin. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devin. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber Driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car. A admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is gonna help us do it. Real? Wouldn't have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec, and we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is Cyber Driver's Cyber Driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. 
you've insulted our intelligence. And that we can't excuse. It seems like you could do with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hacking Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set. You guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool, you said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilei allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberized? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target dead is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. True. Anyway, don't worry. You and me are prowling the information highway to seek out our own cyber justice. Look, Josh, we're gonna have fun with this. And I promise I won't say cyber anymore. You know, after this, the cyber world will never be the same. <laughs> And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios. Changes in the whole world. You'll see when you have kids, it freaks me out. This tiny thing. Okay, guys, I'm in. Here we go again. I'm such a loser. I'm such a loser. 
The weather machine is acting up. You catch that? What is this? Here we go. Nice. The not so secret emails.
something over there. I see the Control, we have a possible target in the rear area. Okay, guys, I'm in. Not so secret emails.
Parsec sighted. Require additional hands. Okay, guys, I'm in. The not so secret emails. Found it. We got the full script of Cyberdrive. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now. an email that says the car is being delivered that's okay i think i have a backup plan check the area get over here Marcus, I have a paparazzi contact who knows where the car is. He's waiting for you. We'll give him whatever he asks for out of that email dump. He's good for it. Sure. You have a paparazzi contact? <laughs> is there anyone you don't know? That's me. Social butterfly. Thank you. 
Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand... If you want deets on where the car is at, better have something juicy for me. Like Jimmy Siska and pop star Nelly Shire? They are banging. I knew it. See, okay, now we're talking. Consider it sent. <laughs> Hella cool. Coolosity. All right, I sent you the GPS of the car's route. System check. Sweet! Let's roll. All units, we are in pursuit of a stolen vehicle from the movie studio. All units, be advised. Air Super, be advised. We have reports of a violent criminal near your location. Over. Do you feel the need? The need for speed. Drive this vehicle. Well, I'm authorizing myself, motherfucker. Wrench, you hear this? The car's talking. What? Bitch, I'm black and I'm proud. Tell your senses to calibrate that. I have no reference for black. No, of course you don't. Check under the overpass. I'm clear. Each at the garage. On my way. Keep your hands and feet inside the tornado at all times. Hang on to your innards, Devin. Together, we will carve up the streets. Wait, did you just say a line from the movie? Wrench, you hearing this? I am one nitrous jacked smart car. Well, wait, did, did you just say the car? I am Devin Von Devin, and I am. You are not Devin. Devin Von Devin is handsome and swarthy. <laughs> you are not. Oh, come on. I'm sure as hell swarthier than any dude named Von Devin. 
Damn, Silicon Valley couldn't hire one brother? My Galilei creators think of everything. Yeah, maybe not everything. This card, this car is something else. Yeah, well, kudos to Galilee for getting the studio to pay for this lemon. Lemon? Did you hear it? And never mind voice recognition. I mean, sure, it needs a smack of sided scripting, but it had cogent responses. Do you know how much work had to go into that? Uh, Galilee has been talking about machine learning for their Mars probe, but man, I didn't expect it to be as advanced as it. What? Oh, man. I know it. I do not approve of you driving me, Marcus. You're not as swarthy as Devin Von Devon. I knew it had too much smart ass to be smart. Wow. Shiny and new. So it wasn't responding at all? Well, does, um... Does, does that count? Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> the car's designed for autonomous control, but... Nothing's there or even calibrated. It's capable but suboptimal, not junk. See, that's what I'm talking about. Think positive. It's just stupid. So that's the plan? Fix a smart car the space company couldn't? Problem? No, we got this. Hmm. Welcome back. We just got a post from Mike. He says he's unsure about a big decision he has to make. So you have some wisdom to drop on Mike? Trisha, Mike is a Scorpio, and he's got to take it slow right now. Make sure he checks in with his booth to see how they doing, see how they feel about his big decision, and he has to remember to compromise and find solutions. Communication means also listen, and he'll know what decisions to take. What about me, Miss Shana? You haven't given the Aries any Okay, let me break it down one time. All right, break it down. You're feeling a bit stuck, in a rut, or just stuck in a lower frame of mind. And I want you to remember a dream you used to have. All right. Because your dreams will lift you up out of that rut straight up into the light. Well, hallelujah. <laughs> if you want the 411 of your horoscope, hit us up on our page or on invite and read up on all the astrological true truths. This is the Trisha Show, all tea and no shade. Congrats, Marcus. Our follower count is growing fast. How this should come in handy? All of them. That's the point. They give us access to their power. We grow a network of computers that makes us stronger. Our own giant cloud computing network. 
So do people sign a contract? I vow to let DedSec own my processor. We're transparent. They know before they ever install the app that they're giving us access to their computing power, but never their personal info. That's a lot of trust. Silicon Valley would kill to have that level of intrusion. Private data farming runs their whole economy. for our own man against the technocrats hey Marcus me wrench in the garage when you're ready will do Hackers love a challenge. Guys, let's fire it up.
already? Eh, fame won't change me. Live on the scene, we're getting reports of the fiber driver car performing spectacular stunts around town. The one-of-a-kind car is drawing quite a crowd. It could be a marketing stunt for the upcoming release of action thriller Cyber Driver. We're able to get a closer look at the Cyber Driver car as it races through the city. And it seems that there's no driver. Police are still in pursuit of the Cyber Driver car. Wait, what's that? Folks, we're seeing a logo on the car. It reads, DeadSec. That's hella dope! <laughs> Woohoo! Woo! Cool. Come on, we gotta circle back and see if we can pick him up. Hell, they shouldn't have risked their reputation by dealing with the studio at all. It's okay, Josh, you know why? No, Satara. Why? We're gonna hit him where it giga hurts. <laughs> Started out as just a trickle, then boom. The numbers haven't stopped climbing. This is a good target. Yeah, but was it? You don't think? No, I mean, of course, look at the numbers, but I don't know, there's, I mean, what are we gonna do? You know, for real. Aim bigger. Hell yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Watching? <laughs> and, uh, it's like sadtube.com. A channel for sad people, am I right? <laughs> yes, ask them. I mean, come on. Look at them. They've got their own goddamn branding. And I've been following them since they accessed our server network. Jesus Christ, don't yell in my fucking ear. Use your inside voice, will ya? Anyways, it's all done other than the handshake. We're working with the human Izulu in case it gets to the collateral damage part of the relationship. They'll be discreet. Marcus, those new Don Parasites got our recruitment video killed. Can you believe it? Oh, I believe it. Jimmy Siska's greatest fits? Uh, say it ain't so. What are we gonna do about it? Come by the hackerspace when you have a minute and we'll figure out the best way to pay them back. Hi. Right.
New Dawn wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown, annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, New Dawn's a fucking scam. <sighs> Rich people throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are so gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore, Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. He's our highest profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean, when I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude, me too. I even have the lunchbox. Nice. Mint. Mint. Nice. Just not, not Siska, okay? Just anyone but him. There's, Please. there's gotta be another way, all right? in town shooting cyber driver The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. Yeah. Rank in the church is based on financial contribution. Loyalty is bought through blackmail and fear. They believe they are untouchable. Protectable. That will soon change. Dead Zack will reveal the secrets and true purpose of New Dawn. You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. There's no more. That tech will give you the truth. Do what you will. gonna like it? I'm gonna say 30 to 1 odds against. Then I guess I better get it out the way. See you soon.
Christ's sake! Strapping enough for you? Yeah. You gonna go inside and take a peek, or? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I wore my church clothes. Nice. Buy enlightenment! It only costs your life savings! All right, I'm heading in. I'll dig up what I can on Siska. We're about to go to battle with these fuckers. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DeadSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. <laughs> I aim to please.
Come out with your hands up! I think we can use Siska as an ally. The man's in big trouble with the church. They're even planning an emergency audit. Audit? They're after his money. Of course they are! But this is something different. They wire themselves up to these bullshit electronic doohickeys and play psychiatrists with each other. It's cute. Siska's waiting for the auditor to show, but he's gonna get me instead. Are you serious? You're gonna wing it. So gonna wing it. First I have to delay the real auditor. He's gonna get a call from Jimmy Siska. Yes, guys, you have to hear his Jimmy Sisko impression. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't have time now. I'll be in touch. Hello? Jason, I heard you're coming for an audit today. Jimmy! Right. Right. I was just about to leave. How's it going? Not good. I think I ate one too many empanadas, my friend. My stomach is way too unstable for a session. If you catch my drift. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get you. Violent, violent diarrhea. Yes, I understand. Can we reschedule? Yeah, we're gonna have to. I took a handful of chewables. I'll give you a call back soon. I promise. We good? We're cool. You take care of yourself, Jimmy. Working on it. Hey, ghoul, what's up? I managed to... Nope. Yes? Hi. I'm Jason Lowell. Huh. <laughs> I'm here for your audit. Okay. Jason Lowell. <laughs> I hear you're the best. Come on in. Thank you for the hospitality. Please. All right, uh, let's get started, huh? Yeah, my sources tell me that you've been having some doubts about the church. I want you to tell me about that. <laughs> doubts? Well, doubts is a, it's a strong word. I'm not as inspired as I used to be. It, Jimmy, Jimmy, step up. Don't hide things from us. You're right. Okay. Okay, there are rumors about this place where they take church members who are having issues, and they don't come back for a really long time, if they come back at all. I've heard these rumors, and guess what? They're just rumors. <laughs> but that's it? I'm not in trouble? For telling the truth? No. Thank you. I, I, I promise you will not regret this. Yeah, look, well, look, one last thing. I really need to get to the heart of this rumor, so do they say where this imaginary camp might be? I don't know.
I don't know. I hope I never find out. Well, does it have a name? Uh, the, the, the Red Room. They called it the Red Room. Oh, yeah, man. And one last thing, man. Like, your last five movies have been just disappointing as shit, so act better. All right, keep your chin up. Peace! All right, I have a new lead on how we can burn New Dawn, but I'm missing a key piece. Jimmy Siska is afraid of something called the Red Room. Jimmy Siska in the Red Room. The Red Room seems to be some kind of rehab center where they send problematic church members. People who go there, sometimes they stay gone. If they're kidnapping people, this is potentially huge for us. This goes beyond my resources. Want me to reach out? Nah, I got this. Damn. Miranda speaking. Hi, it's me, Marcus. Marcus? All the way. How did you get my number? Right, I forgot. I need something. It's about New Dawn. Have you ever heard of the Red Room? Miranda? Texting you an address. Meet me there. I just need info. Uh -huh. confidential emails has had unexpected consequences for HMP Studios. Contents of the documents expose an ongoing contentious collaboration with Galilei, the company responsible for the expensive high-tech car featured in the studio's latest blockbuster. Marcus, have you looked at our follower count lately? Yeah, we're making waves. We've got to make people see Bloom for what it is, Marcus. The longer it takes, the more they rely on CTOS. They'll get used to things the way they are, and then DeadSec becomes a conspiracy theory fringe. It won't matter if what we're saying is true, if people don't want it to be. Yeah, but this is just the start. When we show them the shit that's brewing behind Bloom's doors, they'll join us in droves.
kind of trouble are you in? We're making trouble for the church. We who? Dead sick. I knew it. I have friends that would love to put dead sec behind bars. Like a good fight? Hey, so did you. Excuse me? Oh, I watched you go toe to toe with New Dawn back in the day. But hey, I get it. You a councilwoman now. No, 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 no. You don't get to pull that I sold out crap on me. These assholes wreck lives on a weekly basis. They went public with videos of my surgeries. But here's the thing. I don't give a shit. I got nothing to hide. But you're right. I am a councilwoman now. My hands are tied. That's why you asked me to meet you here. You need my help. Looks like you need mine. Plus, I finished what I started. First of all, don't mistake New Dawn for a church. They are a criminal organization. I pulled the records of all the properties they own in the Bay Area. And there's one that just doesn't check out. Over there. Hmm. They have it marked as an educational center. Doors are locked. Nobody answers. Security comes and goes. Does that sound like an education center to you? Nah, no, it sounds like a re-education center. I'll stick around. Go see what you can find. Thanks, Miranda. Marcus, did you meet with Miranda? I did. We think this is the place, but we don't know what kind of place this is. It's obvious they're hiding something, though. So, I'm gonna see if I can find a computer and snoop around. Jimmy Siska. Looks like you were right. Hello, Marcus. This is the place, and they brought Jimmy Siska here. If I bust him out, think you can get him someplace safe? Count on it. I'll be ready.
my spotlight. You hear me? You, Jason? My name's not Jason, and I'm not with New Dawn. I don't belong here, man. You gotta get me out. Get moving, go. Okay, okay. Uh... Miranda, Jimmy Siska's headed your way. What about you? I'll get out on my own. Just make sure he's safe. I will. Marcus, I got Jimmy out safe. Thanks, Miranda. Hey, you did all the legwork. Here, he wants to talk to you. Marcus, if that's your name. I want to burn these bastards and I know where to start. I'll meet you outside the Temple of New Dawn. Man, you should file a police report. We just proved the church keeps prisoners. I've got footage. We'll release a video soon to let the world know. What else do we need? I can lead you to the heart of the religion. The holy relics. The original source. Now, how am I going to resist an offer like that? I'll see you there. Oye, chingate. Hey, 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 cuidado, asshole, cuidado, wey. Esto está de la verga.
Joe Wrench. Yo, M. Damn, man, I hope you kept the receipts. Hey, yo, check out this fuck stick. So tell us about Home 2.0. <laughs> Home systems are completely bulletproof. Your privacy is absolutely secure. Bold claim, Steven. Aren't you worried hacker groups will see that as a challenge? Well, say what you mean, truly. Dead sec. Now, if they want to go up against us, I invite them to try. <laughs> Home 2.0 is an OS with teeth. Yo, he called us out by name? Yep. He don't know who he fucking with. It's on now. Well, that's why I've been trying to crack 2.0. There's just one... See? Little problem. What? There's no point in trying to use the previous version's hardware to jack the new OS. Why? Because they changed the ports. Following the Capital's Guide to Forced Obsolescence. But luckily, a little birdie told me that 2.0 should be packing a farm fresh zero day. Ooh, now that might just be a shame. Damn right. And that is why you, my friend, are going to hijack me a 2.0 pre-order shipment before some do-gooder white hat tells home how to cock block us. You've got a weird relationship with technology. You know that, right? Okay, I'm at Holmes Distribution Center. Great. Okay, uh, so take a look around for a computer, one of those old crap box ones. Now, Holmes stores their schedules based on number plate destination combinations, like some kind of barely literate moron. If that moron was, you know, a company. <laughs> Good to know. I'll see what I can find. Where are you? Got it. I got the list. Okay, great. So now all you have to do is stroll over to the distribution center and match the number plate of one of their trucks to the one that's headed downtown. Man, this is so analog. I told you, Luddites. Weekend, getting a few of the guys over for wings and beers. And when I hit the 24, I'm going to lane split the hell out of have my word. You shouldn't be here! Spread out and find him! Go!
I got the list. Okay, great. So now all you have to do is stroll over to the distribution center and match the number plate of one of their trucks to the one that's headed downtown. Man, this is so analog. I told you. Luddites. I found the truck. Great! Now what are you waiting for? Smash and grab, my friend! I got the list. Okay, great. So now all you have to do is stroll over to the distribution center and match the number plate of one of their trucks to the one that's headed downtown. Man, this is so analog. I told you. Luddites. Found the truck. Great! Now what are you waiting for? Smash and grab, my friend!
got the shipment and I'm inbound. I already have welcome to me. I got the list. Okay, great. So now all you have to do is stroll over to the distribution center and match the number plate of one of their trucks to the one that's headed downtown. Man, this is so analog. I told you. Luddites. I was thinking of watching the game this weekend, getting a few of the guys over for wings and beers. Base to control. Be on alert. Possible targets. I got the list. Okay, great. So now all you have to do is stroll over to the distribution center and match the number plate of one of their trucks to the one that's headed downtown. Man, this is so analog. I told you. Luddites. over for wings and beers? Game? Yes. Wings are gross. You get greased everywhere. Last time, I was still finding sticky pads on the couch two weeks later. So what? Ranch dip? Nachos? Next night? No, no. Is this the, the fuck are you? Yeah, I'll hold. Again. <gasps> None of my business. Be advised, we have reports of previously identified target near your location. Over. Found the truck. Great! And what are you waiting for? Smash and grab, my friend! I got the shipment and I'm inbound. I already have a welcoming committee.
Tell me I got something good. Nope. Crash. Crash. Oh. Oh. Well, you got the goods. Is it actually good? It might be evil. I don't know. This is home we're talking about. All right, well, I will get this little fucker prepped while you go get us some caffeine. Uh, wait, you want me to get you two coffee? No, he's a robot. I want you to get us caffeine. He'll take a decaf. Toys are 2.0 for a reason. Okay, come on. 